All right, ladies and gentlemen, today's show, we're gonna be unboxing the 38 WN95C LG Ultra Wide Display. On a previous episode, I did a review of the 38 UC99 great monitor but this one's going to give us the 144 hertz refresh rate which is what i'm really looking forward to you really can't find this monitor anywhere right now i looked all over it is basically sold out now the reason i got this one this one's an actually a used monitor i got this one from adorma so i'm really taking a chance here you can see the box is pretty well beat up there's a lot of dust on it this front side's even worse with dust and you can see it's been through the ringer. We'll see, we're taking a chance here to see if this thing is gonna run good, but we'll give her a shot here. This monitor also offers us the G-Sync as well as the free sync for gaming, so it's very important to have that, and also has the USB-C connection, which is very important for my MacBook setup. Not many monitors have the USB-C, I don't know why they haven't adopted that yet, but it, you know, it is what it is. Oh, there's a hair in here. All right, first things we see is our peripheral box. We're gonna get some free cables in here. All right, I'll pull this top out here. Got part of the stand. The base, the monitor. Again, this is a big, we'll get the bottom of the stand, or the base out here. That we'll put on. Let's just hope the panel itself looks fine because that's all that matters to me. A box is a box. Grab it out here. There we go. All right, this should just snap right on here like so. Bam, that's all there is to it. The base. Simple self-screw mechanism here. No tools required. Let's get it the right way. Tilt it up. Let's take a look at the accessory box. It comes with all those cables. It does actually have a power brick. I'm surprised because when I read on the websites, it was supposed to be internal, I thought. But apparently not. It's another external power brick. So we got that, we got a HDMI cable, we got a display port cable, and then we have a other power cable here to the power brick. Now one thing I do notice is it should have came with a USB-C power cable as well. Yeah, keep in mind folks, this was a used product. So I'm not getting everything that, I, I am missing a Thunderbolt 3 cable for the uh, item so I'm gonna have to run up and go grab mine um, they obviously kept that and didn't return that they do have a cable management attachment here for the back as well all right here in the back we got a Thunderbolt 3 hookup this is actually gonna let us power all the way up at 94 watts on my other monitor that was only 60 watts so that's an improvement there display port they went ahead and bumped it up to 1.4 versus the 1.2 that I had on the 38 UC99. And we got two USB ports and two HDMI 2.0 ports, as well as the headphone jack and the power spot. Let's check the menu out. Input Thunderbolt, display port, HDMI, one and two, settings. Auto brightness it has depending on the room. This was another new feature they added on this was the auto brightness so it can actually just, you know, when it gets darker at night it'll dim. That's kind of nice. Volume, input, picture, cinema, and all these different modes here. This does also have the wide color gamut display. Okay, let's go ahead and plug in the laptop, the MacBook here and see what All right, that's 3840 by 1600 right there. And it does seem to be pretty smooth right there, but I wanna see exactly what Hertz are running at, because I know the, the USB-C was supposed to support 144 Hertz over it on like the 60 Hertz on the 38UC99. So it's running at 75 Hertz 
and I believe that's because this MacBook is a 2016. I think the 2018s are actually able to support 144 hertz over the USB-C cable. It's really weird because it's saying resolution is 7680 by 3200 but the UI looks like 3840 by 16. Now I wanna talk about some comparisons between this monitor here and the 38UC99, which I originally did a couple years ago on this show. All right, here's a quick comparison. Some of the major things that were different between the two. Again, DisplayPort 1.4 versus the 1.2. The Thunderbolt 3 charging at 94 watts instead of 60. We're running at 450 nits instead of 300 nits. Again, we got the 10-bit HDR versus just the 8-bit. 144 hertz, this is the big one, versus the 60 to 75 hertz. And this new one has the one millisecond response time versus the five millisecond response time. Now the picture by picture mode here, you only get you know either Thunderbolt or DisplayPort and then an HDMI port. You can't do Thunderbolt and DisplayPort, which is a bummer. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna test this. This is a regular Thunderbolt 3 cable. Now I got this other white cable here from my other monitor, the 38UC99, and I tried to use another regular Thunderbolt cable on that monitor and it would not accept the input on it and it wouldn't, it wouldn't work at all. So I wanna see if I'm able to use that cable because I hope I can. But let's see what happens. I would hope they fix this. Holy sh It works. Now let's get to the most important part of this review and that is the gaming aspect of this monitor. I will tell you right now coming from the 38UC99 to the 38WN95C it is a night and day difference. It is so amazing how smooth the gameplay is. Again, this is running at 144 hertz, and I didn't even know what I was missing out on until I actually was able to get the full experience of how smooth things can really be. Now, when I first plugged this into my Windows PC, it was only running at 120 hertz, and I had a hard time figuring out how to switch that exactly, but you have to go to settings, go up to system, and then we wanna make sure we're on the display tab, and then we got to scroll down to the bottom here and hit advanced display settings. And then after this, we got to go to display adapter properties. And then from here, click on the monitor tab. And then here we're actually able to switch the hertz. Because originally it was only running at 120 hertz and I had to switch it to 144. And boy, oh boy, does this make the gaming experience a hell of a lot better. And keep in mind here, we also have the G-Sync enabled, which also helps with the fluidity of the video and preventing the tearing that you would see. And it, man, this is just such a great experience, especially on an ultra wide. This monitor also gives you the ability to switch your DisplayPort version if you're running a different cable that doesn't support the 1.4. But just keep in mind, you're not gonna be able to get that high refresh rate that you would get on the 1.4 version. HDR on this monitor is freaking amazing. I know this video is not gonna do it justice, but the vibrancy that you get off the video is just so crystal clear. I didn't even know what I was missing out on until I actually was able to try this for the first time in my life. I did do a SSD drive test on the USB ports and was actually able to get the full speeds on like on the 38UC99. I was only getting really low. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. This is a 38WN95C. Great monitor. This will be my daily driver. If you are a Mac and Windows user, having that USB-C port when you need it, but you can also switch over to DisplayPort, play some games on your gaming rig. This is definitely the way to go. That 21 by 9 aspect ratio is both good for productivity and gaming. For more information, I have a link in the description. This is Dan with Up For Review.